Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. Today is episode number eight, and we are carrying on where we left off. So this is our machine gun that we got in the last episode. Um, I think it was the last episode, but it is really cool, and it uses heavy ammo. So it's going to be really useful for using up that heavy I'm ammo that we've got in excess. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Hello! Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Board must have gotten a hold of him at last. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanja, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Oys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the <sighs> in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Yes, you're damn right he could have, but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... if the Vernois are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. Uh, I'll do everything I can. And we've leveled up, which reminds me we need to do some perks and some skills. So I'm going to put 10 into tech. Uh, that should be good. I'm going to put 5 into stealth. I'm going to put 10 into there. We're going to max that out. And we probably need more dialogue. Uh, that should be good. Let's go with that. And let's take a look at some perks. Uh, 20% vendor prices looks good. Twenty-five percent TTD restored per kill. That's actually fairly good. Increase movement during TTD. That's actually very good. Uh, we're going to apply all three of those. Which means if we activate TTD, we should still run fairly quickly. Uh, where's the exit for this place? There it is. Must have been nice, throwing off the shackles of your old job. There we go. So I'm guessing everyone else slows down to a normal speed, but we slow down with an extra 25% boost.
てれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれてれ This new machine gun, a try. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Nice. Help! Help me, please! Who on earth is that? I heard someone's voice. Where was that voice coming from? Oh! Oh, <sighs> they were coming real close to eating me. I'm Lenora. You, uh, what are you doing out here? Not that I'm complaining, but I figure only marauders and animals roam around. Well, shit, today's your lucky day, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for the help. I've got to pick up some things from the bay, but I run a little stand near Fallbrook. Next time you need supplies, stop by, you hear? A little bit of self promotion there. Cheeky. Uh, I will take some stim lotion. Honestly, the amount of loot that I just got then, I am over encumbered like mad. Uh, break that down, break that down. Break that down. Oh, armor. I forgot about that. Armor's a thing, isn't it? Uh, what have we got? 20 and 26. 36 is good. And 29 looks like the best at the moment. I don't know what armor parts and weapon parts are actually used for. I don't know whether they're used for repairing or what. Um, uh, 58. We've got loads of weight now. Loads of room. What on earth is this? Okay, that was actually quite easy. I was expecting that to be an absolute nightmare to kill. Right, so we're here at the doors of the printing press. Right, we're inside the printing press now. Um, ooh. Light Assault Rifle Mark II. I like that. Why am I wasting it on that? That's a tiny little thing. Uh, I don't care about those.
Oh, I nearly. Come on. Nice. Die! Stupid thing. Right, we're supposed to be going up here to take a look at something in... Why is that locked out? Why can I not get through there? Um, well, this one managed to glitch through the roof. Um, I don't physically understand how we managed to do that. Oh, so that means they're barred, which means is we can unlock them. That is cool. Uh, we got a load of light ammo. I'm guessing this is energy cells. Some armor parts. Now, this is worthwhile because I think there might be a weapon in there. Light pistol mark 2. We've already got one of them. But hopefully, I'm thinking of checking if we can upgrade. Retrieve Zora's team. Um, I think I might do it. We got Sword of Shotgun Mark II as well. Hang on. Oh, we are swapping that out. Right, let's get rid of this. Get our Sword of Shotgun. Uh, and then let's take a look at Felix, see what his weapons are like. So he's got a tossable stick. Uh, they've actually got alright weapons, so I'm not going to swap them out. Um, but we need to exit the facility. After double checking, there's no more loot. Also, I want to sell these Mark II weapons I just got. Uh, sell... Where is it? That we can sell. That we can sell. And that we can sell. And let's transition to the wilderness. I've actually been really excited for this game for so long. Like... Well, excited but not excited because I've only been properly excited for it in the past like month when I've seen proper gameplay. But obviously this game's been teased for well over a year and it's just never come out. Uh, right, let's go. Turns out we could just fast travel there. kind of don't like the fact that fast travel is a thing in games like Fallout and that. But it does sort of make it so that you can enjoy the game, play more. Um, but definitely survival difficulty. If you want to do survival difficulty, that should always be... Um, no fast travel. Right, uh, let's go hey, up okay. here. I got some questions I've been meaning to ask you about being a hunter and all. Felix, are you reading off your hand again? Yep. So, uh, first question. 
Before you kill your prey, do you ever say any snappy one-liners? Snappy one-liners? Give me an example. Like, nothing personal, or maybe, you messed with the wrong hunter. <laughs> Animals can't understand language, Felix. Besides, it's always personal. I don't kill them, they'll kill me. It ain't exactly a... No, no more listening, no more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? Uh, I bring news. They are armed all the same. All they need is a good reason, and war is one such reason. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Yeah, I found them. You can be a real bastard, you know that? We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in house. I found the Vanois. For now, you can tell Hiram that I'll stop using Devil's Peak. From the pits of our eternal souls. Thank you, Captain. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Sermons? For the love of... I'm going to see to the wounded. Well... Okay, so I can't point guns at people and make them mad. Oh. Okay, I can. Never mind. Rephrase that. Um, so we need to go to Sanjar. Who is Sanjar? I hear you're into Graham's philosophy. We need to say hi, Sanjar. You need to stop using our towers now. Right, um, we need to go off to here. Ah, it's not too far away. We can run there. Not a problem. Oh, this is a new assault rifle that we got. That's pretty cool. I'm going to try and get a couple of kills with this. Heavy ammo. Always useful. Okay, so the assault rifle and the machine gun uses heavy ammo. Um, while the pistol and the sawed-off shotgun both use light ammo. Interesting. And the sawed-off shot, he has eight shots as well. The fire rate is a little bit slower, I would say. Uh, we are here at Stella Bay. Oh. I swear this is where we started out at. Don't tell me we've got to go to a different planet. When you're out exploring. It's trail rations, right? No. That stuff will turn your stomach purple. I love the loading screens, though. The loading screens are all alike. They're very stylized to the game itself. They are really cool. I got that song stuck in my head and it's pissing me off. Really pissing me off. It's pissing me off. Ah, uh, yeah. And this loading time. One thing I want to see them do is improve the loading time a little bit. Got a few more questions for you. They're real simple. Don't think about it too much. Could All I right. Get another... Well, new business turns up at last. 
Hello, Sanjo. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Uh, no, you have a meeting with me. Did you hear that power play, Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits <laughs> in Halcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Afraid not. <laughs> if I have to eat one more weird science project passed off as food in this sprat fight colony, I'm going to stab someone. Yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our <laughs> bosom, but it seems we're <coughs> yeah. on board. Um. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. So called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. That's the board's way. Doesn't matter if you're Monarch or the Groundbreaker. If the board can't control you, they'll find a way to punish you. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off the books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Yes. Freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Can't imagine why you'd sneer at the notion of a free colony. Could it be because you're an agent of the establishment? Monarch's a free planet, Felix. It's also fucked. I ain't a fan of the folks on the board, but if they could be wrangled to rebuild our roads, I'd welcome the help. Your friend makes a good point, young man. I used to be young and idealistic too, but... You can't run a city on high-minded ideals. You make a good point? Indeed. Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. A lot of good that'll do. I'll just find another reason to turn tail and abandon you. Not if we secure the proper safeguards first. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. What's the plan? It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. And a Mantisaur problem. And a Marauder problem. Many, many problems. But they can all be solved with a Bolt 52 cartridge. What on earth is that? If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. What is it? One of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. I was starting to get bored listening to you until you said the phrase extremely powerful ordinance. It is quite the rush. <laughs> I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. What can I do for you? Can I ask about... 
You're oh. just as rigid as the old executive committee. Why, we've hardly been able to get a clear message out until recently. When Graham finally shut up. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. Okay, so if we get the Bolt 52, we can stop him. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. Oh no. What can I do for you? I, I gotta go. Right, let's go. Uh, actually, how long have we been recording for? Oh, half an hour. Mm, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Into your world.